What's up dudes? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe. I am a full-time college student and a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and a couple other places. If you're not new here, welcome back and thanks for coming back. You are here for the second part of a two-part collab video called the $50 thrift challenge and what sold afterwards. If you're here from somebody else's channel, hi, thanks for joining. I would love if you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button down below. If you are here from my channel and you have not yet checked out the other resellers, I will link their channels down below so you can go see who made the most profit from this $50 thrift challenge. If you have not seen part one of my video, that will also be linked down below. I got $28, 28 items for $50. And I am going to go ahead and tell you what sold today. Now, I already know that I didn't win because I cheated and I actually am filming this video today and it is going out later today because that's how much of a mess my life is right now. It is the week before finals. I am surviving but not thriving so <laughs> we're just gonna that's where we're at right now and i also have food poisoning so that's also fun so it's it's been a week y'all but that's okay we're gonna tell you what's sold and it's gonna be great okay <laughs> okay so i spent 50 dollars on all these items and on 28 items my cost of good was a dollar 79 and I believe I end up listing all these items by November 3rd. So my first sale was very quick. It was on um, November 4th and it was this Oscar de la Renta green bathrobe. Super cute. It sold for $30 um, on Poshmark. I believe that was an offer sent to me. And so then after my fees and cost of goods, I made $22.21, which is pretty much what I was expecting to get for this. So I was super happy about that, super quick. Um, oh, another thing that sold that I actually don't have a picture of, sorry, but you can go see it in my last video. It was from the bins. It was this Brandy Melville pink striped little crop top that actually sold to one of my friends. Um, she saw it in my room and was like, that's cute. Can I buy that from you? And I was like, all right, sure. And so she gave me $10 for that. No fees, obviously, because it just sold to her. Um, and it ended up, it was $1.79. So after my cost of goods, I made $8.21 on that. Obviously, I probably could have made more if I sold it on a platform, but my friend wanted it, so I was like, sure, why not? And super easy, didn't have to worry about shipping it or any new, no fees or anything, so all good there. All right, next up, kind of a dry spell for a little bit on these items, but then I made two sales on these items on the November 21st, and they were both pretty good sales. So first up were these Teo sneakers. I got these from the Goodwill, super exciting. Those sold on an offer to me on Poshmark of $50. My fees were $10. Cost of good was $1.79. So after all that good stuff, I made $38.03, which is super great. That's so awesome. I was so excited about those shoes. Um, okay, next up, also on the 24th, 21st, I sold the, sorry y'all, this is just where I'm at today. I appreciate you for just being where I'm at. <laughs> are these Tiva boots. I was so excited about these. Um, I got these from the garage sale and these sold on an offer to me on Poshmark for $38. And then my fees ended up being $7.60. And my after my cost of good of $1.79, I made $28.61, which is super awesome. And then next up, a couple days went by and I sold this Polo Ralph Lauren yellow turtleneck. This actually had quite a bit of interest on it. Somebody actually commented on my video. I don't remember who you are. I'm so sorry if you're watching this um, and was interested in it, but then never followed up with me um, after I talked to them about it. So that's OK. It'd be like that. Um, and then it had a couple of likes and I had a lot of like uh, questions on it and like, would you take this? Would you take this? I responded. Nobody ever bought it. So it was kind of weird how back and forth it went. But anyways, it finally sold. Someone sent me an offer of $20. And after fees of $4 and cost of goods of $1.79, I made a little over 15 bucks, which is super awesome on that. It got garage sales, super cheap, no biggie. And then next up was my last thing to sell was the most recent thing that sold actually during my Black Friday sale this weekend. Um, I did 50% off and more like whatever people sent me an offer, I accepted it pretty much as long as I didn't lose money. That's basically what I mean by that sale. I didn't advertise it as a name your price sale and I didn't really advertise it to be honest. I just sent out offers, but I was just kind of like, it's clear out weekend. Um, here you go. 
So it was the, the joie sweater that I got at the bins. This was super cute. I definitely could have made more on this if I didn't, you know, take this really low offer, but I was happy to just move it out and because it's part of the challenge. So it sold on Poshmark on an offer of $22, which is, you know, low for this, but that's okay. And after fees and cost of goods, I made $15.81, which is still pretty rad. So all in all, I made in sales, I made $170, which is pretty awesome for one week or one month. Um, and just for six items, that means my average selling price on these items was $28, which is actually pretty high compared to my regular average. My regular average usually dances between $22 and $24 because I am like a low buy low, sell low kind of seller. Um, so that's actually pretty great that the average selling price on these was $28. I think it definitely had to do with the two shoes that sold definitely pushed that up higher, which is amazing. Um, and then because my cost of goods was so low, I only paid $10.74 total in cost of goods. And then on the platforms, they all sold on Poshmark. Poshmark's my baby. I'm kind of sad nothing sold on eBay because I actually do give eBay quite a bit of time for, um, not a lot of return, but I mean, I'm sure if I like did an eBay what sold video, I'd be like, wow, this actually makes me more money than I thought it did, but I just don't do that. So what are you going to do? Anyways. 20% in fees um, on the five items because one of them sold to my friend. That was $32. So my profit came out to be, drum roll please, $127.26. I am so not mad about that. That's actually really awesome. I'm really happy about that. No, I did not win, but I would say I came pretty close to some of the other people. Obviously not the winner who is like almost at $200. Go watch the video, <coughs> the FI sellers. <coughs> um so <laughs> go watch their video they they scored on some stuff their garage sale so that was pretty awesome happy for them um I'm pretty sure they who won I'm not there who won I'm not positive but don't quote me on it but they definitely made a lot of money um so yeah I only had a 20% of these items sell so I still have quite a bit and like I said I'm usually like a three-month seller so I'm not mad at this at all and I feel like we've all been kind of on a range, on a big range from really low to really high. So it just kind of goes to show, you know, what sells for different people and how fast things sell. Some people don't sell things quickly and like there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, some people are different types of sellers and if you're not a quick seller, you shouldn't like beat yourself up about that. If you didn't even make any sales, um, you know, in a month, like you shouldn't beat yourself up about that on certain items, you know? But anyways, I'll stand off my soapbox now. That's all I have for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I so, so, so appreciate y'all coming out. Again, go check out the link, uh, the channels down below. Um, and if you made it this far, I do have a quick little announcement. I am doing a Merry Christmas, um, or Merry Cubsmas, a very thrifted Christmas. Um, sorry, it's a working title. Um, where basically every single day I am going to give uh, one person that is special in my life a thrifted item as a gift for 25 days. So 25 days of Cubsmas, um, a very thrifted Christmas. And yeah, I'm going to try to do little YouTube shorts. Um, we'll see how that works out because Chloe's in finals and yeah, y'all, yeah. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to do my best to put out a Instagram reel, a YouTube short, all that kind of things, get it in all my platforms. And so you can just kind of see, it's a fun thing I've done before actually. I did it a couple years ago and it was super exciting and it just kind of gave, put a smile on my face and somebody else's. Um, and yeah, it's a way to kind of promote sustainability, promote shopping secondhand and promote giving. Um, I'm a giver, I love giving. So yeah, happy Giving Tuesday, by the way. All right, that's all I have for y'all today. Um, as always, I want y'all to stay gold side note sorry for the white noise in the background i really need to get my camera fixed y'all it's really bad this ipad does not mm. okay bye